Good day, this is Prophetess Wendy. Thank you so much for joining me. If you're joining me for the first time, I just want to welcome you. This Prophetess Believe in God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I take the word of God as it is. I do not add my people or subtract. I take it as it is. What does Joshua 1 verse 8 say? This book of the law must never depart from my lips. Let's meditate on it day and night. Hallelujah. I'm employed by God, governed by Jesus, supervised by the Holy Ghost, just to make it a summary for you to get to know who I am. Amen. Do I speak in a heavenly tongue, which is tongues? Amen. <laughs> heavenly language. I'm saying heavenly tongues, but it's one and the same thing. Nevertheless, I wanted to speak about the vision ahead of the crown in heaven. Amen. The vision I have of the crown. So many times you have heard that, you know what, after judgment day, they're going to give us the crown. And you always wonder, what type of crown does it look like? For me, I've always pictured the crown, like the crown of the late queen of England. Amen. Or any queen that you can think of. You know, on your birthday, sometimes they put a tiara on top of your head. You know, I was thinking of something like that. My imagination was at that level until i saw that vision amen in that vision this is what i saw i saw myself with another woman amen this is after when the books were open this is after judgment day when they said that we are going to be rewarded my people it is the truth so the vision that i saw i'm together with this woman what amazed me was to see that you know, sometimes you wonder, after death, are we going to be like ghosts? What are we going to be wearing? What are we going to look like? Amen. I'm telling you, I was wearing a beautiful gown, which goes down to my legs, you know. It was not white. I get when we think of heaven, we think of white garments, like God cannot think of any color. You know, it was so beautiful, like rainbow colors. But the dress that I was wearing, it was full of life. Even the crown, it is not like the tiara that you are thinking it is a crown which is full of life in a place where there is god there is life amen the crown was so beautiful the crown was full of life as i was wearing that crown i was wondering as we were together with this women standing together and as i was looking at her i began to ask god to say that god how come she does not have the crown that looks like mine and god says to me I reward you according to what you have done. She says that I'm making you to stand together with this woman. Why? Because you and her have given you one and the same gift. God says you have got the spirit of intercession. Where you wake up, you intercede for people. The same gift. What God was simply saying, if you are a preacher, it was like you were standing with another preacher. If there are pastors, it was two pastors standing, but God were not having one in the same crown. Then God replies by saying that, I give you the, the crown according to what you have done while you were on earth. Even though I was younger than the woman, my crown was bigger than hers. Then as I was standing there, he says that you deserve the crown because of what you have done. So what do I have to say, my people? I have to confirm that whatever we do here on earth is being recorded. Amen. There is no good thing that you have done according to your gift. You know, when God gives you a gift, you have to come back to God and account according to the gift that God has given you. For us, we are intercessors. When we wake up in the middle of the night, God is, I know for sure, he's not waking me up for myself. We don't do guest prayers. God can wake me up for somebody who is in England. God can wake me up for somebody who is in Mozambique. God can wake me up for somebody that I have never met. Why? Because that is my gift. And as well, I'm also a prophet. Amen. I see things before they happen. God speaks to me in visions. God speaks to me in dreams. But God says, as much as I've given you a gift, you work on your gift. She says that this woman has worked in her gift. I can give you this example. I have got these two books in front of me. They are like this. They look the same, the same color and so forth. But it doesn't. The size is not the same. Amen. Here I am on the other side. My crown is big. Has is small. I don't want to make something that I saw, you know, for one minute to make it an hour or to write a book about it. But I just wanted to come back to confirm that keep on doing the good work that you are doing. One of the good days, God is going to reward us. And your crown is not going to look the same as your neighbor. 
Even if you could have been a mother pastor, your crown is not going to look the same like other mother pastors, but it's going to be defined about what you have done around the earth concerning, sorry, the kingdom. That's why God says, put my kingdom first. Amen. Put my kingdom first. Even for me, it's not like the crown I had is the one I wanted. No, I wanted it to be bigger. <laughs> Amen. But it was a size. But God took me with this woman to say, intercessors, both of you are intercessors, same gift, lived in the same earth, doing one and the same thing. But the time she gave me and the time you gave me and how she perfected her gift, amen, how she was connected to Christ and doing what she was doing, it's not the same, amen. But we have a duty, we have a responsibility to go out there and fulfill the purpose of God upon our lives and other people because God is not going to ask us He's not going to come and ask me about my car. He's not going to come and ask me about my children and so forth. He can ask me, how good, what type of mother was I? But most of the question that he was go is going to ask me, how many hungry people have I fed? Amen. How many sick people have I visited in the hospital? How many people have I prayed for? How have I given financially unto the kingdom? How has the kingdom of God benefited by having me to be part of their congregation? How have they benefited? Was I just a member and not doing anything in society? How have I benefited the society that I was living in? What type of neighbor was I? Those are the things that God is going to ask us. I'm just giving an example. Concerning the kingdom, Joshua 1 verse 8 says, This book of the law must never depart from my lips. You must meditate on it day and night. What does Jesus say when you pray? Close the door, amen, and pray. Ask God for the daily bread. You pray daily. Amen. There are people who don't work on their salvation. There are people who have no relationship with God at all. But nevertheless, I was not here to come speak about my relationship with God. But I've got a good relationship with Him. Amen. And how do I know that? I try my level best. The Bible says we have been made righteous by His Spirit. Amen. Christ says, if you are not connected to me, I'm the vine, you are the branches. We have to be connected to him daily. Amen. We have, he says, my father will come and refine the branches that do not bear fruit. He will cut them off. Amen. And throw them into the lake of fire. We don't want that. We don't want that to happen to us. Yes, of course, there were other intercessors who were thrown into the lake of fire. There are other intercessors who were never given the crown. But God showed me this woman to show me balance, to say that, you are not going to get one and the same reward. You are not going to get one and the same what crown. So I can confirm definitely God is going to give us the crown. If you are watching me and you're still here on earth, work hard. The Bible says in the book of Ecclesiastes, sister, work hard while you are still here on earth. Because in the world of the dead, there will be no love, there will be no action, there will be nothing. Once you are gone, you cannot come back and rectify anything. You cannot come back and rectify anything. So I just want to encourage you, pray more, fast more, study the word of God. Ask the Holy Spirit to give you direction on what you are supposed to do according to your gift. I love you. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.